Welcome back to Vintage Story and I am with Apache as you can see on the left and Arkham on the right and we are going to go with Apache to his base. I don't normally show the roots but I think that Apache lives in a very useful place. Are you near Owl City Apache? Um, I'm not, no, but I mean, oh. there's a lot of um, routes from my base to well, everywhere around the server. Okay. I'm very close to World Spawn. Excellent. Then if you're close to World Spawn, we're going to follow you because this could be a very quick route for us to World Spawn, a much quicker route. So lead on, Apache. Oh, oh you can also lead before, <laughs> before you, be Apache, before you go. Yep. Have a present for you. Uh huh. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Box cheddar cheese. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Right. If you just follow the road out. Okay. And we'll be travelling in winter. I have plenty of food with me. And Arkan is coming because he wants to see more of the server. And also, he likes seeing other people's bases. <laughs> well, I've put down uh, a few markers on the road as well. Um, yes, right I um, know. Around the corner, there's uh -huh. a little sign that says uh, TL to Apaches. Oh, so great. I all of this with claimed land. So yeah, I, oh I gosh. Out, um, as far as I could. Right. And then just over here. I put down a sign, uh, and this was the first spot I could actually put down a, a sign. Yeah, our claim is so pretty. TL to Apache. Yeah, our claim is very big at the moment. <laughs> 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 and actually, having seen Discoverer and Berserk build, I'm glad it is big. It'll expand out quite far then. They don't build small. <laughs> <laughs> That's always good. <laughs> <laughs> and also what we do have going is we're now getting a lot of um, tree farms going. Yeah. And we're spreading them out so that they look nice. Guys, if anyone wants a clothing trader, this is a clothing trader. Yeah, I've got that on my, uh, on my map already. Yeah, so I, you... I don't tend to use the clothing trader too much. Um, I like it, my commoner's outfit so much, I don't want to use it. I wear the, uh, <laughs> the furs so much, because it's really cold where I am. Yeah. Oh, I didn't bring my um, furs. I'll be all right. Yeah, yeah, you, you'll be fine. If not, we'll have to light a fire. Are you going to stay there, Arkan? <laughs> He's found shelter. Come on. <laughs> I know it's cold, but you're Russian. You should be good in the cold, Arkham. <laughs> and so this is where the original teleporter came through. Yes, to, uh, it to is. Area yes. With the Stargate here. Yep. It's a lovely area around here. And just through here i really like this lake that's on here with the big mountain on yeah. the backdrop did it's you beautiful. build this road um i didn't build this road right um, there's a turn around here and then i built one through the mountain right um i'm i have no idea i think it must be the road building crew who built the road i just had no idea it was here until you told me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's oh, you didn't know this road. This road was here. No. No. Oh, wow. It sort okay. of appeared from nowhere. This, this is where I started yeah. my road. Yeah. So this again, tail down to Apache. Here. Yeah. And this just goes straight the way through. Yeah. Um, and at the end of this, you'll see um, an example of the type of builds that I've done in my base. So I've brought my base through to this side of the TL as well. Oh, right. I better not alter it then because I've been going round 
making a nine by nine square with TL on the top to mark translocators for any new people that don't know that there's a translocator there. Because otherwise, yeah. I mean, like this one, you would never know there was a good translocator here if you didn't see yeah. it. Well, I'm going to put a, a marker on this for the auto map. Yes. And so if we just stop just outside here, then, uh, because when we go in, you'll yeah. be basically right in the centre of my village. Oh, right. Uh, it might seem a bit kind of overwhelming because right. there's a few things I kind of need to tell you about. Just right. First. Um, so this is uh, kind of an example of a, an Iron Age roundhouse. Oh, uh, right. Which is um, like Celtic Iron Age roundhouse. So I know we're talking them. Uh, maybe um, 50... BC kind of era, uh, just before uh, the turn right. from BC to AD, yeah, and um, into early Roman invasion uh, okay. in, uh, in Britain is, is the kind of style that I'm going for. Right. But I wanted it to be really kind of overgrown and like you're wandering through a forest and you've come across a little village <laughs> in the middle of a forest. Apache. And so when we head through, yeah. you'll see exactly what I mean Yeah. Um, when I say that, because I've built... I think about 10 to 15 stacks of oak trees just around my base. Right. Um, just to kind of enclose everything in and make it uh, really enclosed. Uh huh. This is the first However, time I've seen a teleporter on straw blocks. <laughs> I use a lot of straw. Oh, right. When we go through, we're actually basically underneath uh, the the big lake between yeah. Nathan's base and my base. Okay. Is Arkan with us, or is he? I don't know. Are you with us, Arkan? Oh, yeah. No, he's he's just outside. outside. Okay. Um, and so yeah, I built this tunnel just to kind of um, allow you to be, to come up right in the centre of my village, right? Rather than uh, across a bridge on the lake. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it would be much much easier. Presumably you found this TL when you were caving. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I've just blocked it all off. And so we've got um, a, a water chute on the side here as well, as the ladders. Is this where you go a little up bit quicker. or down? Yeah. Well, don't, the water chute's well, a little bit quicker for going up. But don't... Ah, oh, do, you don't go down it, do you? Oh. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes I do. Mm-hmm. Hello. And okay. And so we're in a, a very similar hut to what we saw yeah. on the other side. Yeah. And then if you come out. Mm -hmm. The path is so pretty. <laughs> One of the big things I wanted to do here was to slow people down. You travel very, very fast on paths and you yes. don't tend to, to look around you. True. If you pick it up like this then it slows you down and it means that you've got a big open area where you're actually uh, designed to look around it and I want people to actually go off into yeah. these different areas and have a look around okay and through here yeah I mean, if you if you come through here you'll kind of see what I mean but I've got lots of just little things just dotted around the place yeah um, like just over here yeah there is uh, cobbled ruins with, oh you um, built some... these yeah well it, it was a cobbled ruins anyway but i kind of moved them around a little bit yeah just to make it a bit easier to build around right I've made it look really overgrown i've put a load of skeletons down some yes i see it <laughs> um, and so it, this would be like a um, a place where I don't know, like the youths of the village would come and meet or something. Oh, so the um, youths come and hang out here after yeah. dark, do yeah. they? Yeah, and it's that kind of thing that I wanted to try and bring into it, mm -hmm. to, to bring, mm -hmm. bring some life into it. Absolutely, absolutely. I can imagine. Right. I haven't really done much with, uh, with animals. No. I've got my, my animals here. Yeah, um, and I've got Generation Thirteen U, uh, and and uh, uh, with the sheep. Yeah, uh, but the boars I haven't really done anything with. Them. No. Okay, and then where do we go from here? 
So there's a lot of the, different buildings. This, this is here. almost impossible to see this base. I'm going to put the big it map is, yeah. up. Look at this, guys. It's so hidden. You can't see yeah. a lot of it. That's and the idea. You, you've just kind yeah. of got to walk around it. Yeah, and particularly at this time of year when the grass yeah. blocks match the leaves. So this was my starter base. In right, here. in here. Right, this was your start. Yeah, so I built this one. Yes. Um, after moving out of Nathan's base. And I've got the cellar just down below. Okay. With all the uh, cooking stuff in it. I'm going to put that little wax cheese you gave me down on the table. Yeah. Looks um, nice. <laughs> take a slice of it. Oh, that looks great. Look at that. They're very ornamental cheeses, aren't they? Yes, they're really nice. Um, okay. So that's the, the the cellar. Yes. You have to press space as you come up to be able to get out of it. Okay. Um, but then the next one I built up was this one here. Right. And this has been much more of a utility thing. Like yeah. I haven't really done much inside it because I put all of the bloomeries in here. Um, oh, so this is where so you smelt. Up, yeah. Yeah. I just stack up all the blue, all the bloomeries around the side. Yeah. And it allows me to do huge amounts of uh, iron in one go. Right. So you just build um, bloomeries all the way around. Yeah. Right. So the idea was to have lots and lots of these buildings, not necessarily very, um, uh, with much interior decoration. No. It's a very bland and plain on the inside. Yeah. Um, but it it adds to the the busyness of the, of the village. Yes. Yes. It just gives me more land. Yeah. But one thing that everybody does uh, come to this village to look at and to get inspiration from is my storage room. Your it's, storage it's room? Oh, no. I've seen your storage rooms. This is Ooh. insane. Oh, my yeah. goodness. So the idea oh, was my to have word. as many things displayed as possible. Right. Especially with the stone. I wanted to be able to see exactly what right. the stone looked like uh, so I can decide what to use for different builds. Yes. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. And then I've got the mass, mass pickling <laughs> sections of the <laughs> Well, that's what's... It's all behind doors. Mass pickling, eh? Right. Yeah. Wonderful. Oh so my see, goodness. Some of this stuff I haven't even been able to fill up yet. I've got yeah. like two, two entire columns here which haven't got anything in them, just, just chests. Crikey. And then all of the wood on the back. Oh my goodness. However, oh my this goodness. is all going to have to change in 1.15. Yeah, it will. Of new different types of wood. And so, yeah. down here. Right. Oh gosh. Oh no! <laughs> More storage. So this oh, is. Oh my uh, goodness! For 1 oh my goodness! This is going to be just storage. Oh gosh! Yeah. Oh if you my word! To yes. The, uh, to the first one. Yeah. Ah, oh, this, this is, is... My chiseling yeah. workshop. Ah, oh, look at Arkan. He's looking at the chiseling. <laughs> Arkan. Yes. Apache is an excellent chiseler. Um, but, oh, that's me. Uh, he has chosen to build with whole blocks, but he is very, very good at chiseling. Well, I'm I'm good at chiseling furniture and stuff like that. Yeah. But to do a whole house, I I, I don't know if I could. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I don't know if I'd have the time or the patience. Uh, I'm not allowed to video Arkans build yet. He says he hasn't finished, but <laughs> he won't let me video it yet. But it's he's he has chiseled a whole house, and I love this. Viewers, if you are from England, 
you will immediately understand this joke. If you're not from England, it was a comedy programme about um, a general store. The customer went in and said, I want four candles, which in English can be four candles or fork handles, but we would put it together to say four candles. So, four candles? Yes, four candles and four candles. And everything he asked for had two meanings. So this is such an English joke. And anyone in England understands it. Anyone outside England hasn't a clue. <laughs> <laughs> and all of these pieces, I've also given a copy to uh, Mikey for the museum. Oh, that's uh, excellent. In um, have you included the four the candles? <laughs> I have indeed. Yes. No. I sent him a YouTube video of it. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, it's fantastic. Um, there is one more story up as yep. well, uh, which is um, a storage room for the stuff which can't be put into chat. So I've got some of the uh, cracked vessels yeah. and the uh, com collapsed chests and stuff. Right. And I use these for decoration around the village. Okay. Wow. Very nice. Okay, let's go down. Oops. Oh, God, ladders. It's quite nice, but it's dark now, actually, because um, I, I love this village in the dark. Um, it brings it even closer in. Um, yeah. And, uh, it, it shows you exactly what I wanted from... Uh, the effect of having all of the trees around because it makes you feel like you're just kind of lost in the woods and that's exactly what I want so I think if we I think you're around... succeeding if if you were not with me I would be lost <laughs> well the whole point of this is to to wander around yeah uh, not necessarily stick to the paths right um, and just to explore it's just right. a big playground to explore in so, so that's... all of my my uh skeps and stuff the beekeeping yep. stuff up here and i've got a nice little fishing jetty i here. know i love it which i'm hoping to add some more stuff to i want to build a, a chiseled boat a uh, little fishing boat oh um, out here um nothing too big uh because it's a lake it would be like a lake fishing boat yeah very nice and then we come through Back down the other way, and yeah. we head across to the blacksmith. Arkans lost in the lake ice. <laughs> you can't. You can't. I'm, I'm levitating. He's levitating. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So through here. So if you, yeah. Have a check on the floor here. So some some of the stuff I've uh, added as decoration. Oh wow! So you've added uh, mud bricks meteoric iron yeah it works doesn't it yeah so i love the idea of having having the iron on the floor yeah. usually people would just dig this up and turn it into and turn it into ingots i um, actually love actually the iron blocks like yeah i love them i think they're beautiful yeah. blocks and quarrying it like this allows you to use it as a um as a real decoration block yeah i mean yeah. i think that somebody's been trying to pour some iron into a into a mold or an ingot or something yeah and i've missed and they've spilt it onto the floor oh absolutely it's covering this part of the floor absolutely i love your cart look at this yeah dom Kratz made this did he so this is this, the steel cart wow isn't that it's good the steel on there yeah it's got legs at the front <laughs> yes <laughs> If it's got legs, we'll take the whole lot to Pendle. Anything that walks <laughs> comes to Pendle. <laughs> uh, he made this uh, well as well. Uh, you can fall Ooh. down it, so be careful. Be yeah. <laughs> Did you ever see my video of Arkans mine shaft? I managed to fall straight down it <laughs> on video. I left it in. Everybody loved it. <laughs> Mm. So over here I've got all my, my metal stores. Okay, and you also have blister steel, 
molybdochalcus, zinc, oh my goodness, steel plates, maple, not maple logs, no, meteoric iron. Meteoric iron. Um, yeah. And what's that one? Silver, yeah, gold, brass, bismuth, lead. Lovely. Looks great. Because I did used to have all of that just stacked up outside the uh, the blacksmith here. Yeah. But then it, it became too much, so I had to build its own building to put it all in. As you do. As you do. Um, and this build here is uh, one I made for Domcrats. Oh. And I left it open inside. I left it uh, completely empty inside. And so this is his uh, interior design. Gosh. Um, Look at the door. This is what he chose to do with it. Isn't that pretty? It's nice I'm seeing two builders in one lot. And that is yeah. fire, fire dogs, I'd call them. What would you call them? Um, stoking tools. Or fire irons. Yeah, fire irons. Fire irons. And I don't know about other countries, but we normally have a shovel, a toasting fork, uh, a rake and a poker in these things and a brush and yes a, uh, chestnut roaster yes that's absolutely right looks great he's done a good job I mean, he has yeah i really like what he's doing in there. oh look i love the fact he's got a little potted plant by his bedside isn't that <laughs> cute so dumb cats is it d-o-n or d-o-m dumb cats i think his name's on the door here Oh, right, let's have a look at the name. That's a good one. Uh, Dom Kratz. Good job. Yeah. I like it. A bit of fancy chiselling there. <laughs> and then one of the builds... Actually, now, if we come out this way, I think yeah. it would probably be best to see it. Mm -hmm. um, I've got on the right hand side here, we've got my drifter pit. Welcome. Uh, yeah. during the storm and then on the left hand side we can see the windmills Oh, what's in the pit? So uh, that's my charcoal pit oh, which I'm slowly that, refilling you're as bad as us <laughs> I mean gosh we've got something called the orb that I've decided is just too awful as a charcoal pit so I'm emptied it and it's going to be a housing for my plant collection. Well, I, I go through about three iron axes just um, cutting up the logs into firewood. Do you but need that much charcoal? The trees down. Do you need um, that? Yes, I know. I mean, this creates about one and a half thousand charcoal per time I do it. Oh my gosh. I absolutely uh, love nice. this, is the third time this roof. Building. Yeah, love the roof. The roof's really nice. Isn't it just? This was a building first made in Minecraft, this, um, yeah. uh, uh, the blacksmith. And the area behind it here is like, like an, a little scrapyard. Yes, I see it. What away. fun, a scrapyard. So the, like the, this um, anvil here is almost like a an old rusted amber. yeah yeah great okay all kinds of stuff so if we if you just come through underneath here yeah underneath the under the eaves line, yeah then we can go up and have a look at the inside of the windmills yes again here we've got more swayvite more meteoric iron on the ground and they've even got little bit, little bits of loose meteoric iron here on the ground as well. Oh gosh, that's nice. Oh wow, that is so regular. So you have so four to windmills. Make it all nice and neat. Yeah. Yes, we've got four windmills. Yeah. Um, each of them is driving one of uh, the hellhammers. Yes. And then one of them is driving the quern and the pulverizer. Right, so the quern and the pulverizer are linked to one hammer and the others are there. Yeah. Nice. So if we go up, if you head, uh, turn around, you can see down here. 
This is the underside of it. And get down the ladder. Oh gosh. It's a little bit awkward. It's all right. I'm. Oh God. I'm just awkward with ladders. Right. Yeah. Okay. So this is what it looks like underneath. I wanted it to all be accessible. Um, yeah. And I've even got a chest here for the, the output from the pulverizer. Right. Nice. So you can see the, the inner workings of all of this as well. Yeah. And then if we head on up. Mm hmm. Right. This is the only chiseled building that I've done. Right. Um, and when it becomes daytime again, you'll be able to see uh, see the chiseling Oops. work that I've done on it. Because the big problem I had is because I'm working in um, Iron Age. Yeah. Windmills didn't come to England for another 600 years. Right. Or so, um, after the period that I'm building it. So I had to try and mimic the earliest possible windmill style. Yes. Um, so I, I got a load of photos from, from really, really, of, of really, really early uh, styles of windmills. Yeah. But I decided that I wanted four blades. So I right. had to mimic the design on all four of the sides. Right. Just having it on the front. Right. You can actually walk out here. And you can see, if you look down, you can see the chiselling effect. Um, <laughs> oh gosh, I might have a look so at that can, in daylight. <laughs> yeah, you can actually walk up the side of it. Oh goodness. If we head on back down. Yeah. I love this building. It it's It's made an absolute feature of the mechanical tech. The symmetry is beautiful. Yeah. I love the symmetry of it. <laughs> yeah, it really, Jinx. it's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. So here you can see the uh, the, the chiseling. It's it's exactly the same style all the way up. Um, just going two in from the the previous right. block. Two in, two in. And you oh my jump up goodness. What a fascinating way of building a wall. Just chisel two all the time. Yeah. And you can go up it. Yeah. How fantastic. It's just, uh, I died quite a few times building this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where to next? Um, I suppose if we come around this way yeah and see i put one of the benches down here as well yeah nice that is have... such an english park bench yeah. <laughs> it's so english <laughs> another little oh. path that comes down this way yeah and this takes you into the other half of the village the new half of the now oh, my right. viewers haven't seen much of this either, so uh, okay. this is going to be new for for all of them. Okay. Um, we've got a, a a little farmer's field here, um, which uh, Domcat's made up to uh, to to feed us. Yes. Um, and this basically did all of the food we needed. Yeah. Um, but I haven't really harvested any of this for a long time. No. Um, it's all just been kind of sat here. So yeah. I need to harvest it all and make up a little. Um, I've got a lake here which is just completely full of cattails. Oh gosh. So I can just go through um, and harvest all of these cattails for the scouts. Right, so that's a lake full of them. Yeah. And then I've got a couple of builds here which I haven't done anything with. I've yeah. just built them up and um, they're just empty inside, nothing in them. Um, these are meant as guest houses. If somebody wants guest to houses. come and stay here, wow! Then they can ask me, and they can have one of these and make it their own. Oh, um, well, you heard it here first, guys. If anyone's on the server and wants somewhere as a first base, 
If you do a bit of harvesting for Apache and a bit of food cooking, this house is yours. Yeah, there's two of them. There's two of them? Right next to each other. Wow. Um, and this one was going to be a bit of a bigger one. Yeah. However, I have a couple of wolves which took up residence in there. Oh, um, this was going somewhere. to be a house? Yeah, it is still going to be at some point. They're in the um, darkness. They're lurking in the yeah. darkness on the other side. Aha, we're over here. Yay! Wow. So this is the smaller so of the two. So we've got those in there. Mm -hmm. And um, so I don't know what to do with these. I don't know whether to keep them as pets or um, just kill them off. I don't know. I really no, don't know. no. Home is not home without the howling of the wolves, is it, Arkham? <laughs> you have to have howling wolves in vintage story. Yay. Hello, doggy. <laughs> <laughs> I love the wolves. I, I would keep them. But everyone knows I love the wolves. I've got another little um, trap here for rabbits and chickens and stuff. Right, let's have Just a look at this side one. Of you. If you let the rabbits go in the wolf enclosure, they'll eat the rabbits. I know. Well, I did have um, another seven wolves in this pit here that I had to kill off Oh, because they were just so loud Yeah, so I had nine wolves in total I killed ones in here I killed off so you are trapping in here chickens because of the small trough you're trapping rabbits because of the farmland you're yeah. tracking the bees will attract the raccoons as will the berries so this is a yep. chicken, rabbit, and raccoon trap. Yeah. And drifters as well, I should think. Lovely. There's only a couple more buildings that I've made. Yeah. Um, this one you might recognise from Scolds, from the first server that we were on together. Yes, I do. Um... Again, it's empty inside at the moment. I haven't done anything with it. Um, I'm not too sure what to do with this building. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I loved this building. I loved making it uh, in the other server. Yes. So I've decided to bring it across to here as well. Yeah. Yeah. You had... And then the final build is something yeah. a little bit special. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see on the right hand side here as we uh, go through. Ooh, we're all... Monsters. Yeah, let's just get rid of them. The night is dark and full of terrors. <laughs> As usual. Mm -hmm. um, this is a gigantic building. Like a ridiculously big building. Yeah, let me just show you on the map, guys. This is this huge building here. These are the spare houses. This is the wolf trap. Um, so this building is the one we're just about to go into. And yeah. it overlooks the lake. Can't see it for the trees, but it does overlook the lake. Good grief. Um, this is a huge, huge indoor area. What on earth are you going to use an area this size for? <laughs> storage. Well, <I'm> <laughs> storage, yeah. This is just going to be a storage room. With um, I think, uh, who was here the other day? I think it was... Um... Stampus was here. Yeah. And I think we counted it as 22 seconds to run from one end of the room to the other. No. Something like that. Um, it... but I'm going to use this as a trading hall, as a big community centre and trading hall. Oh, a community trading hall. Wow. You know, An indoor market. Like in the other place. Oh. Yeah. Because one of the things that I've been really interested in going around the server is yeah. finding all of the um, lamp posts on the side of the roads. Yes, it I remember. It sounds really silly. No, um, no, I fully understand all it. Of these designs. Yeah. And so, um, Dumper's actually brought one of these over. Um, yeah. That he's been using. And so, um, usually there'd be a 
just a lamp on the top. Yeah. Um, and they are so nice. And yes. Everyone's been so inventive with all of it. Yeah. Um, but I want to try and bring them all together in one area. Um, so you want a lamppost museum? A lamppost yeah. museum. Wonderful. But also somewhere um, where people can like donate their designs. Basically. Yes. And I'll have a chiseling uh, workbench. Um, right. So you can actually, so if you bring the materials with you, yeah, and there'll be a list of all the materials that you need. Yeah. And you can actually uh, request a copy of the master so that you can take copies for yourself. Oh, oh. What is Arkan doing? <laughs> I can see you. I can see you. Yay. Yay. <laughs> and so we come to dawn again. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this vintage story video, please leave a like, consider subscribing to me, and I hope I see you in the next episode. Goodbye.